Hey guys, it's Kevin Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of the Watercraft Journal. This episode of Uncut, we're taking a peek at some footage from our one-on-one -on -one review of the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS. I wanted to point out in this early, early footage how well the Ultra tracks through other people's wakes. That's been the biggest conversation topic with a few groups in regards to how the FX versus the ST3 versus the Ultra hulls track and cut through different water conditions. This footage was taken back in July on Lake Mead, Nevada, and we had some pretty warm temperatures. We were in the high 80s, low 90s, and uh, this hurt a little bit of our performance testing, but again, what I want you guys to observe is just how natural the Ultra was at cutting through the wakes of the other riders and it didn't require any major rider input, didn't require any major corrections. In fact, you're going to see zero jostling or weird cutting. Uh, to that effect, I also wanted to throw in a quick cut, and I know this is called uncut, but I had actually uh, dropped the camera from my mount. I had caught it and put it back in place. So that's the little cut that I made right there. Uh, what this footage though ends up showing is how natural the Ultra 310 is at being able to make some sharp turns and do so at speed and how naturally it corners even while standing up. This is something that is really new to the Ultra and only comes about with lowering the foot wells as low as they did. They, they did so by several inches. Uh, I do not have a specific number. I have been told 3.3 inches. But what lowering the rider deeper into the ski and getting you closer to the waterline does is it allows a watercraft to be able to corner far more naturally. You yourself are not going to be an eccentric, basically like an inverted pendulum swinging the ski uh, left to right when you're down low and the center of gravity is is much lower to the water you're able to make natural turns with a very casual or natural inside lean and the other half of it is that for a watercraft that does have a lot of draft that is a lot of watercraft in the water below the water line uh, it does absorb a great deal of impact of jostling and vibration which gives you a smoother more enjoyable ride but more importantly doesn't wear you out all that all that impact and vibration does have an effect on the human body and does wear you out so you do not feel the same level of rider fatigue that you will with a watercraft with less insulation or thinner material or with a watercraft with an inferior hull design I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of an inside peek at the Kawasaki LXS, and we'll have the full review coming up later this month.